Welcome to Thunder Show and the best moments of the past week. No perfect plans or machines exist. There's always someone with better than you have. This episode, however, is dedicated to victories that must be earned with whatever you have at hand. Let's get started. Smoke screens are useful, but they don't shield you from artillery strikes. Or do they? Okay, let's see. Rezibai found themselves under attack, launched some smoke grenades, and one of those hit right into the shell that would have otherwise damaged their tank. It's unlikely that the engineers expected such a use for this type of ordnance, but it worked. Sarega 56 crawls on their tiny AML-90 around a town and spots the edge of the BMP-2M. Great chance, right? Shoot, the gun's charged with a smoke shell. Okay, no problem. A nice hit into the ammo makes the opponent disappear in a cloud of smoke and fire. Wotan sure is ready to meet the enemy. They've already taken two aims. But instead of one or two enemies, no less than three turn around the corner. Not a big deal. They've got the numbers, but our winner has a guided tow missile. One good launch, and the whole group says goodbye. Three frags in one click. In this simulator battle, Laid to Rust pilots their Yak-28B towards a capture area, drops the bombs, and lays them right at the edge of the area, where two enemy choppers were hiding. One of them tried to take off, but you can't really hide from a bomb on a VTOL aircraft. What an amazing hit, and an SB no less. Still, if you want to be efficient in battle, you don't really need all those bombs, smart devices, or big missiles. Just a little bit of mobility and a surprise effect could be enough for a good attack. Much like Icarus 2 did on their Turm 3. They turn the corner and start knocking out one enemy after another. A round for you? Some auto cannon fire for you? The Bradley tries to turn its launcher but gets blown up too? The Chinese wheeler follows suit? And here's the reload done, just in time for the T-54. What a good surprise. Five frags in 10 seconds. As usual, we finish the episode by checking some impressive works from our players published on the Live War Thunder website and spotted this King Tiger immediately. It doesn't really look all that kingly nowadays, of course, but there's still some beauty to it. The beauty of a machine that saw numerous battles, just what a ground veteran needs. Speaking of other veterans, many comments ask us why naval videos are so rare on our show. It's simple, guys. The more naval replays you send us, the more we can feature in the show. So if you see something unusual, don't hesitate to throw it at us so we could navigate the seas together. Looking forward to it. Bye.